In this video, I'm going to talk about CIS 30A Lab 3 Exercise 6. Um, in Exercise 6, we're given a car that's traveling 50 miles on the first day, 70 miles on the second day, and 100 miles on the third day. Write the function that converts the total of miles into kilometers, given that one mile is 1.6 kilometer. So in purple, I included the procedures for you to follow when you write the program. So first, we need to define the function. We need to um, also, for the function to work, we need to con have a list that contains the miles for each day. And we want to be able to use some method to find the total of miles. And we can operate calculation to convert kilometer and then call the function. So to start, what we have is we have miles is the list. And it contained 50, 70, and 100. These are the number of miles that the car traveled for three days. Um, and then next, we would define the function. So here I call it miles to kilometer is the name of the function. And I wanted to use num as the parameter because I also wanted to convert miles to kilometer. We wanted to print total of kilometer is and we would format and we would take num times 1.6. And for when we call the function, we simply just do miles to kilometer. That's what we name it here. And then we would do a sum of miles. So we would total up all of these. Then we're going to convert it to kilometer. Another way that you can do this is you can use a for loop to access each of the value and add them up and then multiply the, the total after you add them up by 1.6. So the way I have this here is I simply just use num and num is going to store the conversion, uh, the, the number of, of miles times 1.6 and miles we're going to do the sum here so when we have everything calculated I should have 352 kilometers as when I added this up I have 120 plus 100 that's 220 and then I would take that 220 I would multiply it one one point six to give me the total number of kilometers that the car traveled for three days. So just to capture everything that is done in this program, we declared a list which contains the mileage for day one, day two, and day three. We define a function. We use num as parameter. We would use inside that function to use print method to print the total kilometer we format after we multiply that total number of miles times 1.6 which gives us the conversion for kilometer and then we call on that function and for the parameter we're passing the sum method with the miles so with that, we would be able to calculate the number of miles to kilometer for the three days that the car travel. And that concludes lab three, exercise six.